Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. While we're talking about stimulus and promoting growth and cohesion, let me read you the latest unemployment figures for youth unemployment. France, 27%. Ireland, 30%. Portugal, 39%. Spain, 57%. Greece, 58%. This is the reality of what's happening outside these, chamber, uh, outside these chambers while we congratulate ourselves on all of the stimulus packages which we're decreeing. There was an almost perfect symbolism when it emerged that in the last mandate the President of the Commission and the President of the European Council had flown to the same summit in Russia in two separate private jets. There is, if you like, in microcosm, the EU's approach to job creation. I mean, why have just one private jet when you can stimulate the economy twice as much by having two private jets? Why have just one bureaucracy when you can have twice as many regulations by having two parallel bureaucracies? Why indeed uh, stop at having uh, just the Eurocrats when you can have an army of consultants and contractors and other rent seekers stimulating the economy around them? The truth, colleagues, is that the money has run out in the private sector because of our policies. And since that's the money that's paying all of us, there ought to come a moment when it starts to worry you too.